So for this question, we want to see which of these graphs represents the IV characteristic for a thermistor. So the key thing about a thermistor, specifically an NTC thermistor, which is the, the default type of thermistor, uh, that stands for negative temperature coefficient thermistor. So for those thermistors, what happens is as the temperature increases, the resistance will decrease. So it will look something like something like this. So, so yeah, as T goes up, resistance goes down. For the graphs, it doesn't tell us explicitly how temperature changes, so we have to infer that from what's going on. If we think about the equation P is equal to IV, as the voltage increases, that causes the current to increase, and that causes the power dissipated in the thermistor to also increase. If there is more power being dissipated in the thermistor, its temperature will increase. So, in other words, as V goes up, uh, that causes the current to go up, and that then causes the temperature to go up as well. And if the temperature goes up, that means the resistance falls. So then, if the resistance is falling as we progress across this graph, or these graphs, then what should be happening is, as we have fixed increments in voltage, or fixed increases in voltage, the yielding current should be getting bigger and bigger if the resistance is falling. And that's shown by B. So B is our answer. And we can think about that as, as the current and voltage increase, the temperature increases, the resistance falls, and therefore we're getting higher yields in current for the same yield in voltage.